Hey guys, meet Hasidius Flo, my ultimate Iron Man locked to the great continent of Zaya. Join me on an adventure to unlock the secrets of this land, overcome all obstacles, and take on one of RuneScape's biggest challenges to reap the rewards within. The Chambers of Zeric is the destination, but let's see the journey so far. Greetings, and welcome to episode 3 of my Zaya Locked Ultimate Iron Man. I've got so much to get through in today's episode, and I can't wait to share it all with you. But before, as always, I want to thank those for supporting me so far. And if you're enjoying, please drop a like, comment, and a cheeky sub would be great. It's all free. So in today's episode, we're going to get through a nice chunk of skilling. We're going to finish the easy Cowrend and Kebos Diary, get our hysidious favour to 100%, finally start the construction grind, and then we're going to see where we're at at the end. But before all that, I want to address the main goal of this account and pull up some ideas I've been working on whilst we sell some bits and get set up for the skill and grinds. So welcome to Theory Crafting with Flow. As you've gathered from the new swanky intro, we're aiming for the Chambers of Zeric and also for solo clears using a Zaya only setup. There are many things we'll need to do to get there and to fight the mighty arm. Oh wait, this cute thing? Oh no this big old dragon boy. And why do we want to do that? Well, apart from it being one of the biggest end game challenges, it offers some of the most prestigious loot in the game. Now I'm not going to go through the point systems just yet, but here is what we could get. Up top are the two prayer scrolls, with Dextrous being the main one for rigor, best prayer in the game, and Arcane for the mage buff. The Twisted Buckler would be really nice as it's the best shield I could get, as at the moment the Rune Kite shield is all we can get and the Dragon Hunter crossbow would be a great upgrade and would speed up the arm kills. Moving on to the next tier, the D claws would be an awesome spec weapon, and special robes of course, and it's storable, but I don't see any use for the Din's Bulwark, probably just a cheeky elk. And lastly, the big ones, the cool kids weapons. Of course, the Twisted Bow would be the one to get. The Kodai, it's pretty useless, <laughs> not gonna lie, and the Elder Maul is a great crush weapon, so that could help for future PVM. Oh, and there's also this little fella, who would be an amazing pet to flex. And also, there are a heap of supply drops that would make it getting higher levels and 99s a lot easier. So that's the destination, but what about the journey? We have a lot of skills and equipment to get, and here's the three setups I'm aiming for, and suggestions are welcome of course, put them down in the comments. Some of these are big grinds, but give us an idea. Key ones being the whip needing 83 slayer, the D hide sets, clue items, rune crossbow, jewelry like the combat bracelet, all needing 99 hunter, or lower for dragon implings, 99 construction for the con cape, and if we can't get that, then a god cloak would be great from the uh, lucky imps there, the elusive dragon warhammer for the specs, and hopefully not the dragon warhammer memes. Some of the Hydra items, like the boots and the ring, would be great. And a fair bit of smithing and fletching for Ruby Bolt's E. And then skills wise, these are the base stats we'll need. So we're looking at 80 plus all combat stats, but we'll probably end up being a lot higher. And 70 plus prayer is ideal. Also, we need 55 farming and 78 herb lore to gather things inside the chambers, as well as a host of other skills. And we'll get that along the way. So that's what this is all about some big grinds ahead, and some awesome items to get. But for now, let's get back to where we are, and that's levelling up some skills for the diary tasks. I'm up here in Port Piscarillus to fish and cook. I bought a fishing net down in the Warrens from the fishmonger, and there's a range behind us. I need to get 20 fishing to catch trout for the diary, and a higher cooking level for the mess hall to get 100% Hesidious favour. So let's get into it.
And there we have it. 20 fishing, meaning we can now catch trout, which is a diary task. And cooking them will give us more XP. We just need to head back to the fishmonger to grab a fishing rod and some feathers. You join me here on the lovely banks of the river mulch. One man and his rod going for the elusive trout. And that's another diary task completed. Only two more to go. And that's 25 cooking, so we can start making servery stews at the mess hall. It took us a while here, but glad the grind's done. Now let's drop a few bits and head on over to the mess hall. So this is the mess hall in Hesidius, where you can get everything you need to cook food for soldiers, and that will give us cooking XP and Hesidius favour. At the moment I'm making stews by adding potatoes to bowls of water. Cooking meat and adding the meat to the stews. And then cooking up a full inventory, or nearly that, minus a few burnt stews, to serve up for that delicious XP drop and a fair bit of favour too. Oh no, what's this? A raccoon in the kitchen? That's definitely not what we want. I'll let him out into the wild. What was that, Mr. Raccoon? Don't forget to subscribe. That's the last inventory of stews giving us 35 cooking and 100% favour. Lovely stuff. Now let's speak to Hosa and get his part of Architectural Alliance done. On completion of this, it will give us a new teleport on the talisman and some XP lamps. So next up is 15 mining for the diary task. I've skipped the initial levels and now I'm climbing the slopes of Mount Karum to finish off this task. Mine some iron here in this mine and that needed 15 mining, which I got at the mine down by sand crabs. Lovely stuff. Now for the final diary task. Move my house to Hesidius, needing 25 construction. Before we can start construction, we need to get 60 wood cutting, so I've been down here for some time trying to get a mithril axe to speed things up, and they drop off these big sand crabs. Oh, and look what we have. A Mithrilax. Love to see it. Up top from the caves, I'm starting to hack away at the levels with these willow trees. I'll stay here until level 50 and then do maples for the last 10 levels, as it does get quicker on average. Would you know, that's 50 woodcut coming in. Just chopping away at these maples up here in Insidious. Lovely scenery. Oh look, a nice little clue nest. Let's open her up and see. No <laughs> way, it's a Zaya step. Alright, let's see how lucky we can get with this one. So we're up in Insidious, and we just need to search this crate for a new clue. Oh, no. A Camelot step. Can I say never lucky yet? Back on the wood cutting up here by Watson's house, and look at that 60 wood cutting coming in. Feels so good to get that out of the way. We've unlocked yew trees, we're one level away from using dragon axes, and most importantly, we have access to the wood cutting guild, which features a sawmill for planks, a bank to our note on an axe shop, the egg altar, and the end dungeon. Lots to do here. So I'm at the bank here, I need to use up this stack of marin tools. So I've been killing unicorns nearby for horn dust. So I'll be dropping half, unnoting my vials, dropping the rest, unnoting the herbs, making the unfinished potions, picking up the dust, making the anti-poisons, dropping those, rinsing and repeating. 
We're starting off with 17 herbal. Let's see how much XP we can gain. So that's a nice 22 herbal from those Baron Tills. We can pause the Unicorn Massacre for now and free up one more inventory spot for construction training. And we have just one more job to do, and that's to buy a house. Yes, Mr. Estate Agent, sell me a house. 1,000 gold, what a bargain. You'll never get that these days. Awesome, now we have a house. All we need is 25 construction to move it for the diary. So the method to start off is to cut an inventory of logs, head over to the sawmill, grab a saw and some nails, make the planks, and house teleport to start the training. Oh shit, <laughs> I can't do anything with these logs. I totally forgot the final step, make a plank. I can be such a plank sometimes. Right then, that's the step we missed. Make the logs into planks, now we can begin. Here we go guys, the first thing we can make, a crude chair for two planks and two nails. Now let's see how long this takes. There we go, first construction XP drop on the account, lovely stuff. Moved on to bookcases, giving us 10 construction. We can now build a lovely dining room to eat in, alone, because I stand alone. And that's 16 construction, meaning we can now make our first oak item, that's tool store one. And the tool stores are an invaluable for a UAN, especially being locked to Zaya. To build that, we need to buy a workshop room for 10k. A room is more expensive than this house. How crazy is that? So for this method, we're going to be unnoting the planks here at the bank and then just teleporting back to our house and we can start using the oak planks and that gives us 60 XP per plank. Very nice. Moved on to repair benches to speed things up and there we go, that's 25 construction. Happy days, we can finally complete this easy diary and get our rider's blessing. So we're back here at the estate agent for the last time until we get 99 construction and we will get 99 construction and we're going to move our house to Hesidius. And that's the diary step done. Finally, we can tick that off and we also have easy access to our house and an easier training method. Now before we actually go and finish the diary, we're going to be a good UIM and clear out the inventory spaces. Now we can use the bank chest by sand crabs. We can unnote the planks and run on back to the portal. This is going to save us law runes, which are hard to come by, and also those sacred talisman charges too. And here are the final planks being used. Managed to get 28 construction, which is a nice starting level. So let's head out and get the diary locked in. Here, Lise, where are you? 
here we go right show me the good stuff and that is the easy diary done this gives us all of these bonuses we get three teleports to the woodlands a day and a two percent chance to catch two fish at once whilst equipped could be useful we've got a tasty two and a half kxp lamp which we're going to be saving for now and then the increased drop rate of the talisman which is good in case we need to get another one and the reduced tanning may come in handy but i don't think we can kill red dragons easily without protection Looking ahead, I don't think we can complete any other diaries due to needing off Zaya quests, but this is a lovely achievement for the Zaya Locked account. So that wraps up today's video. I want to thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like and subscribe and also check out my Twitter. I do post interesting stuff sometimes and the link is down in the description. In the meantime, take care and I'll see you soon.